moons. She gazes out the window and she plays Chopin. That's bad. She doesn't gaze out of the window and she plays Chopin. Very bad. She sits in the dark. She won't light the lamp. When I light it to spite her, I see her cheeks are damp. She cries in the dark. Then denies that she is crying. Sits and sighs in the dark. Then denies that she is sighing. And she plays Chopin. Chopin. What more need I add? Chopin. Chopin. That's bad. He's coming. Who? I can hear his footsteps. Whose footsteps? Number 10, 8. Ah, the next show. That's fate. He's coming to claim her, enthrall her, inflame her. He's dashing, disarming. He's virile, he's charming. My God, how he'll thrill her. I'll kill her. I'll kill her. Etude or ballad? Nocturne. Without any warning, it began. She was taken completely by surprise. Eight times a week, twice on matinee days, at the stage door, at the final curtain, in the wings, the roses began to arrive. No note, no card, a secret admirer. Oh, bravo, bravo! Oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, who could resist? It's a classic complication. The shadow of another man. His greatest fear, her secret fantasy, the very stuff of drama. <laughs> the plot thickens. Oh, finally! Who are they from? Oh, it's sealed. Oh, no. Sorry. I, I don't suppose you could... Um... I want to talk to the light. Well, that's an idea. <laughs> what do you think I am? An amateur. Ah. Steam. Steam. So? <laughs> he loves her. No. He's heart sick. Oh? Signed. Yes. Anonymous. Anonymous. I like it. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> good. It's perfect. It couldn't be more perfect if I'd written it myself. Tell him I have no objection. Carnation say alas, alas, my poor heart Days is mean and innocent and true Pansy say jump up and kiss me Pimpernel's mean a rendezvous But roses, roses, red, red roses, roses, roses Mock and Me 
forgotten, yet they always do. Snowdrops are for consolation. Carnivine looks for someone new. But roses, roses, red, red roses, 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 red, red. If you really want to know who sent the roses... I know who sent the roses. You know who sent the roses? I know. I'm afraid I know. Well, then, I did. <laughs> you? Ah, uh, yes. You sent the yes. roses? Have you lost your... Mind? Yes, I think I have. Well, it began innocently enough. A single rose left on her dressing table. From you? From me. No card? A, a romantic gesture. Ah. She never mentioned it. Oh. The next day, I found the rose pressed in a volume of the complete works of William Shakespeare. Pressed? Right in the middle of the Rape of Lucrece. No. Oh. So I sent more roses. And today? I included the love note. Signed Anonymous. So now you understand. Perfectly. Good. You've lost your mind. I... For God's sake, you're jealous of yourself! No, not of me! Of the look in her eyes! I tell you, when she saw those roses, she fantasized a lover. And what was he like, this mysterious lover? How did he walk? How did he talk? I thought, if I could just figure out the kind of man she wanted, I would become that man. Oh, ridiculous. Yes, ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. If I was Caesar, I'd conquer the world. I'm an actor. All I have is my imagination. Slowly, I began to see him. Romantic, adventurous, passionate. But manly. An explorer, perhaps. No, I don't like it. It's too... Um, All right. It needs something. something a bit more yes. along the lines of... Oh, uh, uh, an Arabian prince. No. No. It's too... You're right. Feminine? Or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it's a shame, though. Yes, oh. I rather like the... Oh, now, that's very good. Wait! Wait. You... What? I've got it. This time, I really got it. <laughs> Uh, a guardsman! <laughs> and uh, when she recognizes you? Impossible. Oh, come. Now. This will be my greatest performance. But for a wife not to know her own husband? That's just it. She doesn't want her husband. She wants a guardsman. So that's who she'll see. You don't know her as I do. I know what she likes. I know. And believe me, she's going to get it. <laughs> I told you he was coming, and you thought it 